RoboForm Pro, setting a master password. Okay, so now we've saved a few passcards. As you can see, I've put a few more in since the last time you've looked. Um, but now, at the moment, absolutely anybody who signs onto this machine can view them and go to them and log in as you. Now, that may not be what you want to do, in fact. I'd highly advise that um, you set a password, a master password. So what we need to do is we need to go down to Options. And we need to click on Security. And you will see here there's Set mass, Master Password, Mass Protect and Unprotect. So you see here the encryption algorithm. I mean, you can pick one of your choice. I like to stick with AES. But I'm going to set a master password. So it's going to ask me for a master password. now. There's no point in putting your first name in, or your mother's name, or your dog's name, because they're usually fairly easily guessed. What you want is a password between 15 and 30 characters long, so it's more of a passphrase. I mean, that's what I'd advise anyway. Uh, make sure your password includes um, full stops, commas, but any of the other special characters. Make some of the uh, characters upper and lower case. Now, for the purposes of demonstration, because I'm going to have to key this in later, I'm going to keep it short. So I'm just going to use a very, very short password. I'm going to type in Bob. And I'm going to retype my password. And then at the bottom here, this is quite important. It's got password protection for all the pass cards and identities that you've currently saved. Well, I want to protect them all. I want to protect them all. So I'm going to um, highlight this radio button here, click OK. OK, so cleverly it says the password must be between 4 and 49. So I'll just make it a bit bigger. I'll type Bobby. And again, I'll protect all. I'll say OK. Now it's going to warn me that all the passcodes and identities will be protected with a new master password. password. Now I'm going to say OK. And it's now set the password. So now if I want to go and look at any of my um, or log into any of my sites, I'll click and it will ask me now for the master password. Now there's two ways of putting the master password in. I can type it in, B-O-B-B-Y, or it's my, my preferred option, is if I click on this little button here, the one with the hand, it brings up a, an image, a little keyboard, and I can now type in B O B B Y. This is very useful um, and makes it slightly harder for key loggers. Obviously a key logger um, that's on your machine can't get the password. Um, if you've got any Trojans on your machine, it makes it um, a lot harder to get hold of the password. So if I now click on OK, now takes me to that site and logs me in. Okay, so if we now go back to options, there's a few other things we need to consider. Go back to security. You'll see at the top here, password protection for new files. Now, do I want to automatically, in other words, do I want to automatically um, assign any new pass card that I create, any new site that I visit and put the login details for? Do I want those to be password protected? Well, yes, I do. We haven't covered identities yet, but again, we want those password protected, or I do. And safe notes, again, I want those password protected. Um, brief note, automatic log off. Um, it'll automatically log you off. So in other words, it'll clear your password if your screensaver starts up. Well, I, I think that's a good idea. Um, if the machine goes into standby or hibernation, well, again, I think that's a good idea. And if you log off, again, good idea. And then here, set to two hours at the moment, 120 minutes, it'll automatically log you off if there's been no activity for that length of time. Well, I like to set that down to about 30 minutes, but again, it's entirely up to you. The other options here, empty the clipboard on log off, great idea. Clear generated passwords on log off. Again, we haven't covered generated passwords yet, but uh, we will soon again. I like that, um, and I also like to clear search history and log off. But I'll leave that 
unticked for now, I'll show you what I mean later. So now I'm going to click OK, and those options are saved. One final thing, if we go to options again, and security, set master password, mass protect. Now, I can change my password if I want to. Um, I can remove the password altogether if I want to. And again, when I've set a new password, I can apply it to protect all, or if I wish, I could unprotect them all. So that's how you um, change your master password. Now, if you forget your master password, I'm sorry, you're toast. There is no way of recovering a master password once you've forgotten it, or if you've forgotten it. Um, it's no good, no good ringing up RoboForm support and asking them to help you out. There are no back doors, as far as I'm aware. Um, you'd have to try and brute force the pass, the passphrase. Now, if you've got a reasonable length passphrase, I think it's highly unlikely you'd ever, ever be able to get this pope. Put it in a safe, take it offside, take it down the road, take it to your mother's, whatever. Keep your passphrase safe. So if I now cancel that and cancel. You can also manually log off. You see at the moment, what well, you may not be able to see, but at the moment at the bottom of the screen, we have our little RoboForm icon here. He's got his sunglasses on. Well, that means that we're logged in. But if I right click, I can manually log off. So if I log off, you'll notice he takes his sunglasses off. And now if I want to log in again, it's again going to ask me for my master password. So that's the end of video three, setting a master pass password. The next video, again, equally important, how to back up your passwords in case something happens.